My name is Peter Waters, Waters and Stanton. And just to uh, let you know that today, which is the opening day of the Dayton Hamfest in uh, the USA, Ellicraft have announced the K4. So no longer is it a rumour, it's reality. And the K4 transceiver, as you might expect, is SDR. And I've shown a, uh, a shot here of the front panel. It's not high resolution, but it'll give you some idea. And also, um, you'll see now a shot of the rear panel, which again is uh, is not high resolution, but it'll give you some idea. So the K4 uh, embraces SDR technology in a major way. The first thing you'll notice is the front panel with the large 7-inch full-colour touchscreen display. And that really is the central control panel of the radio. Um, you'd be interested to know that that front panel display is also connected to an HDMI socket on the back so you can connect a uh, separate larger display as I know a lot of uh, um, operators are now tend to do. The receiver covers 100 kilohertz to 54 megahertz, um, which um, uh, is improvement on the K3 because you no longer need any special uh, uh, front end uh, bandpass filters. And the transmitter side, 100 watts, 160 meters through to 6 meters. There is provision for uh, an internal VHF and UHF uh, transverter and Ellicraft have indicated a power of 15 watts so I guess this is um, there's something uh, uh, still in the planning stage. The panoramic display from the P3 is now um, inside the K4 of course so you no longer need a separate P3 and there's also an ATU, an internal ATU which is now standard and that is wide ranging um, as indeed the um, one in the K3 was so it'll handle uh, quite high SWRs, much higher than the uh, the standard internal ATU in the other uh, competitive transceivers from the other manufacturers. I've looked at the um, size of the radio and as far as I can see the depth and the height are very similar if not identical to the K3 but uh, it is wider, it's um, several inches wider and I think if you look at the photograph you'll, you'll, you'll get the uh, the feel for that. Now there are going to be two, three models. There's going to be the K4, which is the standard model with the internal ATU, dual receive by the way. Now standard as well. Then you've got the next model up, which is the K4D. Now the K4D um, has a more extensive separate receiver. In fact, it's a physically separate module as far as I can make out, um, which offers uh, true diversity reception. That is an additional module. So if you've got a K4, you will be able to update it to the K4D. And then there is the K4 HD, which is the top of the range one. Again, it's upgradable, so you can start off with the K4, go through to the K4D, and then go to the K4 HD. The K4 HD has a front-end superheterodyne um, module, which um, Ellicraft claim will give you the ultimate in dynamic range. I guess there's some tunable filters or something like that in the front. But anyway, it's a super heterodyne front end which converts down to, I think it's nine megahertz. And then from nine megahertz on, it's SDR. Again, that is an additional module. You can update um, your um, uh, small, uh, your, your lesser specified um, transceiver. And uh, you can obviously bypass it. The, the K4 HD, I think is, um, the ultimate in dynamic range, it'll be great for the expeditions, great for contesters and so forth. So that's it, the K4 is, is almost with us, and I say almost with us because um, it's not going to be available till the end of 2019. Um, as far as our customers in Europe are concerned, um, we won't be able to um, sell it until it's got the CE uh, certification, which I gather is uh, is programmed and hopefully that will um, also be um, completed uh, well before the end of 2019. So thanks for watching this video. I thought I'd just pop up and uh, give you the uh, heads up on, on the uh, radio. 
If you want to get more information about it, then please go onto our website www.hamradiostore.co.uk. Um, there you'll find some images of it, you'll find more detailed specification of it, and you'll also find that you can download the brochure. Well, thanks for watching, and as soon as I've got some more news, I'll come back to you. Thank you.